Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just want to show you uh, in CentOS Linux my um, connection and all the source code for Java to connect to a Redis uh, database. No SQL database. I've done some uh, videos on these. Um, as well as you input or insert uh, some records or a key a key uh, set and uh, retrieve it. So let me show you the setup. Uh, this is um, the Java uh, Eclipse IDE for Java standard all within Linux. Um, first thing you need to do is to grab the latest um, jar file for J. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually use a, a project uh, from GitHub called Jettis. Um, and you need to grab the latest jar file for your Java. So I've got this one at this uh, URL here. I'll put these links in. Uh, from there in the Linux, uh, in Eclipse, um, let me just show you. Um, okay. Uh, what you need to do is you need to add that jar file to your project. So. I'm under this uh, project here called Redis um, Test. Just uh, I come under your uh, Java build path library, add jar, jettis, dot jar file. I just showed you just uh, manually add external jars to add that. Um, as well as um, once you've uh, added the, um, the jettis uh, jar file, you should be able to um, uh, start coding everything up. It's a very simple uh, piece of code, really. So you create your project, Java type, um, and here's the source code. Does the import on the um, Jettis from the that jar file I just showed you comes in the main. Uh, does a obviously a connection creates an instance uh, on your local host. Before you proceed with running this, there's one other thing you need to do is to ensure that your um, Redis is running. So in my case, uh, you just, uh, uh, my, my uh, VM is not behaving today. Okay, here we go. So as I said, you have to load up your, um, your uh, Redis uh, server um, which is um, under my path right here, but I've shown you how to do that on the um, R side to create, install uh, Jettis and actually build your Jettis on, on whatever environment you're on, if it's Linux, Windows, OS X. Um, so once you get your, um, your uh, uh, Redis database running the server, you then can connect to it by this local host. Um, everything's set at default, but you can uh, pass, you know, obviously user and uh, password uh, creates, I uh, uh, can't remember the term, key set, I guess, <laughs> um, of this right here, of a foo and a bar, uh, goes out and retrieves it, and obviously as, as expected, you would, for the foo 33, you would want to see the associated uh, bar 33, um, so that does run um, as it should. Um, so everything's looking good, does the basics, um, and uh, it's apparently very fast, uh, and I just wanted to show you that. Now, where do we go from here? As I've uh, shown in an R, <coughs> I can use R now for uh, my data analytics, um, and uh, that is going to use the uh, uh, Redis as the data store, which is again can be very similar to Hadoop, very fast, can be easily scaled against uh, on multiple nodes. Um, uh, it's very powerful, very quick, um, and great for uh, data sets. So that's where R is going to retrieve all the market data, specifically your tick data, um, and <coughs> how and why I'm demonstrating this Java is uh, being able to now um, have a Java um, source pr uh, process um, actually read 
as a listener reads uh, market data and as it's reading it it will then populate my Redis Redis uh, uh, database or data store um, very similar to this with the, uh, appropriate data so um, this is how I plan to do it um, and then have our be able to in real time be able to access those data analytics or um, I just want to show you the end end of uh, having a similar Java listener to something like a market data and then having the R side access that data if it's market data and be able to do all the analytics through the different various um, R models that I'll be setting up you know algorithms and such so hopefully you get an idea of where I'm going um, and that's from the Java side now where you can populate that uh, Redis uh, database. Alright, have a good one.